Greetings. Still getting ready there. You can just give it a few minutes. members to come on board. I don't know. Uh, maybe we can, we will start the host tonight. As you be Topic exactly twelve thirty-five. <clears throat> Am I audible, uh, Shepsu? Can you hear me? Yeah. 
Yes, I can hear you. I'm here now. Okay. Okay. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. I'm saying our host will. Yeah, your, your, your voice is calling now. It was clear before. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I was saying our host will. Be in the name. Um, oh, okay. It's not you putting the music, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, having a so what what's been happening? Um, we we've been trying to survive on on the. Planet. We do the best we can, right? We try. We can't be perfect. Your voice goes off. Uh, I think it might be the network though. Now, when you're closer, I can hear you better, but I don't know. It shouldn't be like that because sometimes you sit back over there and then you, it, it sounds clear too. Yeah. Did you, did you see how... The, I don't know if you know about those Koi Koi. They Koi Koi people that they took uh, the meat from the lions. Have you seen those, this video? I don't know if they Koi Koi they took they, they, they're not koi koi, right? They, did you see that video? The, 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 those, oh, no, no. I think that they... I think they met Ma, Masai, Masai, Masai people who took... Oh, they koi koi, yeah. the Masai people. They went and took the, the, the meat from the lions. They took, they took the, the meat Masai from the lions. The Masai people are from... They are from, from Kenya. Kenya, Kenya yeah. yeah. But uh, but you see you you, you, have, you have not seen those video right the guy that they went and took the meat from the lion no oh uh, I, I I'll send you a link I'll send you a link to that video it's a very short video like three minutes or something they went and took yeah. the, they went and took while the lion was getting fed they went and took it from the lion wild lion I'm talking about right in the savannah. <laughs> and they were like, and it, like it, 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 let them take the meat. Eh? The lion didn't fight back. <laughs> you want, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil the, <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm gonna send you the link so you can, you know, because if I spoil <laughs> it, I tell you how they did it. Then you're not gonna, it's yeah. not gonna be like uh, a surprise anymore. <laughs> so that, I, I, I may, maybe I put the link right on the chat. Maybe I put the link to that video right on the chat, so you can check it out. And it's uh, not I think I, I can access it, there. or you can just send it straight to my uh, right there. Yeah, your voice is calling off. Oh. A little bit. Yeah, it's not too clear. I don't know why. Am I am I clear now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think once we 
Maybe it, it, the music has interference, ha, could create interference when you speak. Hmm. Yeah, because now I, I don't hear you, but when the music stops, I heard you clearly. Maybe when yeah. uh, the others come, then we'll be able to hear everything correctly. Because they they the one who have uh, control of all this sound. Uh, who's yeah yeah um i just i just hope there aren't any um signal interruption so okay okay i just hope the signal perfect because now i can hear you clearly Okay. And I can also see the visuals here are not interrupted by anything. So I just hope um, I'll be all right on the other side. Okay. So. Today's topic is um, about mainly what I do as um, or a dream that is part of um, the work that I do as an or a um we added we added the phrase there which says um spiritual spiritual dream and interpretation the reason the reason we we, we use um the word spiritual is because um I didn't want to, 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 to only focus on dreams in general because um, I've written I've written two books which are based on on dream interpretation. We have um, um, the Oracle's Guide to Dream Interpretation interpretation volume one which um which 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 explains the type of dream that one has when they are sleeping then we have um the oracle guide to dream interpretation volume Two, which is based on the symbol that one encounters in their dream. Okay, um, I'm gonna pause the our whole here. We can pass the greeting to the Empress. Greetings, Sister Nagis. Yeah, greetings, greetings, Marty. I'm glad you took because I'm running a little late, but better late than never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are glad you're here, and you are you're not that late, yeah. So, you this, this, this is normally. Um, the earliest time that we, we we normally used to normally we start um, a little bit later than um, the scheduled time right 
Okay. So how's everybody doing? I'm well, thank you. I'm perfectly fine. Doing fine. So I'm a bit tired, but yeah, I'm here. And okay. Should I take off? I repeat that lesson and kind of um, start. Yeah, repeat the last sentence. I didn't hear the last sentence you said. I, you're talking to the oracle, right? Yeah, you said something about, um, yeah, it was breaking up. I didn't even hear it. Yeah. Oh, I, I was saying I, I am fine. I'm surviving. I'm perfectly fine. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. I guess his um stream yard is doing its thing. Yeah, there's there's a bit of a, a delay in, in communication there, but um it's, it's not that bad on, on this side. Okay. Hopefully so, it'll get better. Yeah, it will get better this time. I I don't know if um I should continue with the um the, the, the topic. Oh, is there something you wanted to say before we we we, we commence? Oh no, you can um move forward. I know you were speaking okay. before I came on, so you can probably just pick up where you left off. Yeah, I I don't, I don't um, would you um, repeat uh, the first part? of the, your first book that you said it was about because i heard the second part well but you were breaking up on the when you were mentioning what you about the dream interpretation of the first book that you wrote i know the second is about the symbols that they come up on your dreams the first one i didn't hear clearly okay um the first book um the oracle's guide to dream interpretation mm -hmm. volume one it's about the types of dreams that um people have when they are sleeping you no know, i i explain what 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 um lucid dreams are i explain what um nightmares are and yeah to just to name a few those are the, the, the types of dreams that i explain in that book and thus preparing the reader now to be able to understand what 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 dreams are and then when you move to um volume two where i explain the symbol that that you encounter in your dream you now have a clue from the first book of what dreams are and what um in, in interpreting dreams mean to to to, to you and and your daily experience so both books um go hand in hand in terms of teaching and helping the dreamer to um interpret their own dream 
without um, having to, to, to call me the oracle <laughs> every time you have a dream that you do not understand. Because one thing, um, one thing that, that, that pushed me to write um, this book was the fact that my, my inbox was overloaded with and I would get calls, especially in the morning. So I, when I just woke up, um, trying to recollect myself and start my day, I would just receive calls. You know, people calling, asking about um, their dreams. You know, I spent this and that last night. Can you please explain to me what it means? Look, now I'm scared. Um, I, I can't go through my day without knowing what this dream means. What if something is going to happen to me today? So I, 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 I was, I was overwhelmed with, with, with these things. And I just thought, you know, maybe, maybe if I start charging people for, 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 for the calls and consultation on their trip, Maybe they will stop calling because they will be afraid to pay. But hey, that's that's not how I work, you know, and that's not who I am. Then no, I they would still that, call. That didn't matter. <laughs> but, yeah, that didn't work for me. And I just thought, no, let me let me make this um simpler for people. Let me write a book for them so that they can purchase the book or get it on ebook or however they will be able to find it and then they can read and learn how to interpret their dream and then maybe you know they will stop uh, calling that that much because now they'll be having a clue that oh if i dream about a lion then it means my ancestors are trying to warn me about something which has certain um, powers and certain messages, you know, certain influences towards my life. And, oh, the color of the lion was, was white, or it was a brown or reddish lion. Oh, the oracle on this book, he says, this color means that. Now you start putting um, all these elements together, to get your own interpretation because now um in, in in volume two you have uh symbols you know you have animals you have objects you also have colors you know that i explain that when you see this color this is what it means in your dream when you see such and such an animal this is what it means and now the only thing that you have to do is to take the event of, of, of your dream, you know, the things that are happening within your dream, try to make sense of that within the life that you are living, mm -hmm. the life that you are experiencing. And now you have the tools. You know, when you have um, the, 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 the interpretation book, Volume one and volume two, those are your tools to use in terms of interpreting your dream. You know, um, if, if, if you can't memorize all the words that are written in there, then you can use it as a reference. Whenever you dream something, you go back there, <laughs> you refer to those pages that are explaining mm -hmm. uh, the symbols that you think. And then, voila, the, 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 the oracle has less uh, work to do now. He can focus on other things than dreams alone. <laughs> so tonight, um, I'm, I'm going to explain how I work you know, as, as the oracle. I'm going to explain explain how I interpret dreams so that maybe someone who has the book and doesn't know how to use it, they can 
take something from what I'm going to explain and apply it to the knowledge that they will be acquiring from the book. So that is why I I, I asked um, the Empress to to, to, to just the book. I talk as a ritual thing. Because now I'm going to delve deeper into the ritual side of things than um, just our normal uh, understanding of, of what because um, something that we should recognize is the fact that not every dream is the rich one. And not every dream has a deeper meaning or not every dream carries a message that is, is in line with your life or your daily experience. Remember, dreams happen in your brain. And now this brain has so many sections which are useful and important. And there are other sections which are sometimes useless, you know? Because a brain is a place where information is stored. And any information that you come across gets stored in that brain of thought. Now, there are times where your subconscious plays back the information that has been thought in your brain without your control or without your will you know um when when you are asleep certain part of, of, of your brain goes on a, a, a relaxed mode you know there the, are the parts that that, that goes to rest as your body also rests. But your subconscious always stays awake. It is, it is now a time whereby um, a certain part of the brain is busy now processing the information that has been collected throughout the same things that you have seen or heard or smelled or just um, felt during the day, some of them, they are things that pass in a day. Some of them, you saw them and forgot them immediately. Or you just go to ignore. During this time when you are relaxed, when your brain starts to process all that information, this is when those information that you ignored, the information that you sometimes they come to play at that moment. This is when maybe you will dream about someone that you've never met before. You see a face that you are not in a video. You don't even know. But in reality, you must have seen it and ignored it. You must have seen this face. And because you didn't pay much attention to it, you forgot about it quickly. So now, at this point, when your brain is digesting now and, 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 and processing all that information, such things, they do pop out. And 
um, this is when now you might think, oh, maybe there is a meaning to, to this dream. Um, you wake up, you call the oracle, now you want an interpretation for that dream. But sometimes you find that it, it, it's nothing at all. It's just your brain processing the information that you uh, just push at the back of or story or information. So with that said, I would like um, to start with explaining what spiritual dreams are. If there aren't any questions on the, 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 the topic that I just uh, yeah. well, I was I, I was waiting uh, when, when because sometimes you cut off, but I, I I managed to hear to hear what you said, but uh, sometimes it cut off. I believe it's because of the music. But uh, and you're gonna give all the explanation anyway. I was gonna, just going to ask you, depending on like the dream, is depending on how you felt in the dream. If you felt scared or if you felt you know, or if you felt relaxed. Would be that that would be a good dream or if you felt scared that probably a message that's something because uh for, for for my example when i wasn't practicing spirituality i used to dream of dogs wanted to bite me but after i practice in spirituality when i dream of dogs they don't want to bite me they want to be friendly they want to be walking around and you don't feel any fear so it's like i feel different so that's why I was going to say that. Yeah. Um, if, if, if I may touch on, on, on that one uh, quickly before I, I move on. Um, no. Well, you're clear now. So you're clear now. I think the only time your side starts breaking up is when the connection is not streaming straight through. Oh. Oh. So I'm, I'm but I can hear now. everything you said. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to 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 touch on 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 what Shepsu was was um telling us now about the dreams that he used to have before he started um practicing the spiritual uh, practices that he he does now. Um, normally. In, in, in a spiritual um, context, when someone dreams about dogs, dogs can represent two things. One, they can represent your ancestors, or they can represent your enemies. So now, in a case whereby that is why i always say it is important to note the type of animal that you dream of and the color of that animal that is very 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 important in in in, in interpreting what the dream means now when the dogs are chasing you all the time in your dream that is your ancestors trying to get your attention and they trying to bring something to your attention but you keep running away from that okay now look at it this way now in your case remember you just told us that before you practice the spirituality that you practice with. you used to have now after after you started practicing spirituality those dreams are no longer bothering you yeah it could you happen know, once in a blue moon very rare very rare most of the time all the dogs very friendly they can be very big no, no matter of anything 
in a case whereby your ancestors want to grab your attention and bring you to the spiritual side that's what happens mostly I believe you will dream of dogs chasing you all the time and that dream shows you that you are running away from what your ancestors are trying to bring you to they are trying to get your attention to something but you are running away from that now they are chasing you now telling you to come and pay attention to what they are bringing to you now once you start that journey those dreams will disappear but they will come in another form as i will be explaining spiritual dreams i'm going to explain the type of dreams that gifted people have you know when you have a spiritual gift to become a shaman um to become an oracle all those that are connected to the ancestors and the spiritual world you will hear the type of dreams that they have as i move along um with my explanation of the spiritual dream then now you will realize that you and your dog dream is something similar to to to, to what the spiritually gifted people have when when they they are being called you know we 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 call our gifts a a calling so yes. when when calling comes there are dreams that come to you to to to, to enlighten you or to 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 um warn you about uh, certain situations that are coming to you it they call it the calling will come to you in a form of a way then you will see now that i am being called to go and do certain such duty so um i would like to to, to begin um this this whole uh, spiritual dream and interpretation uh presentation so because i i have prepared a, a nice presentation for the so if if i may begin with the test i have my notebook ready so i don't know if you want to tell people um how much the book costs and if they're international was the shipping process before you start so yeah no way to go if they want to purchase it even though i did put the link on the screen but the prices they can uh -oh. always you know hear it now in case they don't go to yeah. the link um my 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 books are, 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 are cheap i think i don't know um normally these these things are done by my manager I, I just write the book. I don't I don't do the logistics and the accounting of of things. I I just write the books and right. give them over to my 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 manager. She does the publishing and all of those things. But yeah, if you go to Amazon, um I think it's Kindle. You go to amazon.com and then you just search um the author's name you just write mpo koza which is m p h o that is my name k h o z a that is my surname and then all of my books will appear and my my profile page on amazon will appear and there are prices there whereby um sub subscribers of of amazon i think it's amazon unlimited subscription those who are under unlimited subscription 
they can read those books for free. You know, there's there's free read special there on, on Amazon uh, Unlimited subscription. And you can get them as e-books. If they want to order um, it. Yes, you, you, you can get it as an e-book. You download it on, on your device. And then you can also order on, on, on Amazon and you mm -hmm. will have it delivered to, to your house. I, I heard my manager telling me that um, starting from next month, it will also be available on Take A Lot. So we are also selling on Take A Lot. And here in South Africa, where I am based, People can order on 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 my um, email, and we are also launching a website soon where people will be able to order. Then they will be getting signed copies from the oracle himself. You know, so I I. I, we're still working on, on, on getting the website up and running. After it's up and running, then people can order from there. They will have the book uh, delivered to their house with mm -hmm. the author's signature. Okay. So, yeah, people so I'm going to order. Are you with the autograph for radio talk? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can arrange that, um, even though it will it will and take then the time to. Yeah, yeah, I know about two weeks. Right? So, will to your house. Yeah, I know it take about two weeks. Two or three weeks. Yeah. I like to have I like ebooks too, but I prefer to have the hard copy. You know. Yes. It's good to have a hard copy as well. Yes. On Amazon. That way it could be a Amazon, part of my library. Yep. On Amazon.com we have a book one and two combined compiled into one book. There's, 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 there's a dream interpretation book there, which has an orange cover with, with two sun, suns on, on, on that cover. It's written volume one and two. So I it's think both, I saw that. Yes, it's both books in, in one copy. So if you order that one, you will have it in hard copy. And get it in hard copy to be delivered to your house oh, okay. you order Amazon, yes but volume one and two but the other come, one uh, separate. the ones that are separate they are ebooks e yeah okay i see yeah, the hard copy so is, get is the, the one that is one and two in one copy which mm -hmm. has um, okay. orange cover. So what about the origin? If that's an E well, or you have that hard cover? The origins of life is going to come out in ebook, audio book, and also in hard cover. It's coming out in, in November. Now okay. it's only for pre-order on Amazon, but we'll be releasing a full version in November. And you will have your ebook, your okay. audio book. Um, it's ebook, audio book, and hardcover. So you can choose one of the three, or it, when you order it, it comes like that. Order. You choose. You choose one of the three, or you can order the whole package. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So I'll wait till yeah. November to order Dream Interpretation once so they can all come together at one time. Yeah, yeah. No, it's um the origins the origins of life is 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 coming out after um the the, the short story book um a story a night remember there's a there's a book of short stories mm -hmm. which we we are launching yes i know uh, on <laughs> yeah so they, they come one after the other like that Mm -hmm. okay so sounds good for more, for more information people can just go to my facebook page um which is the oracle print you just write the oracle print search the oracle print on facebook then my page will appear mm -hmm. and most of the information about my book is, is, is found there and i i also do um write um, some short uh, passages that are from the book just to give um, my readers a taste of what's coming next on 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 my book but yeah, I can I can be found there, and I just learned now from my manager that we also have an Instagram page, of which I didn't know that I have an Instagram page. But yeah, what's the Instagram? She, she just, um. Okay, it's also the same name, the Oracle Prince. Or, oracle underscore print yes oracle underscore print um yeah oh underscore fed it's oracle underscore, underscore print mm -hmm. underscore and then fed 3rd Three R D. Yeah. Okay. Is it capital Oracle? The capital print doesn't matter. No, I, it, it, it's not capital. No, no, it, no, it's no, not the letter of capital. Because I, I, I put the Oracle prints on Facebook, it's not coming up. Well, it's this one he just gave us up. was Instagram. Oh. So this is the Instagram page right here. I just put on the screen. The yes. Oracle Prince underscore Oracle author. Underscore, Prince, underscore after Prince. After Prince, there's another underscore, and then there's third. Okay. uh shepsu if if you search on on facebook just search oracle print oh don't put the all right yeah so, don't so put a uh, right yes friends that's like right C oracle R I -N -C -E. the oracle is is written like this um it's o r a K L E. Okay. Yes, not. Yeah, like you see it on a name. L E. Oh yes, I got it. Yeah. So that's correct, right there, right on the screen, or on school prints underscore third. Prints the third. Yes. Yes. Okay. So they can find you there. Since you just started the Instagram page, they can start um, clicking the follow button. Yeah. And sharing it. 
that, that's that's where we are also going to uh, put the the website, you know, the the website link, so so that they can go into mm -hmm. the web page and familiarize themselves with everything that I do, you know, because not only do I write book, I I also do painting. I'm an artist. So my artworks will also be there on that website. Mm -hmm. um, and also I do counseling, you know, spiritual counseling. So yeah, if people need such services from me, they will they will be able to, to find that information on on that website. Are we are we are we clear on on the connection side? Yes. Okay. I sent a, a, I'm afraid. A request to your Facebook. Okay, I will I will check it later. Uh, uh, let me see what name it is gonna go. It is not. I don't think it's just a different name. Whenever you're ready to start the presentation, you can. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was I was waiting for for, for you to, to come back and give me the the, the go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, I can still hear. I just um, walked away from the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the ritual dream and how to interpret your dream, the importance of dream and what value or what role do they play in your daily experiences. Now, before we understand what dreams are and what they do for us we need to understand where dreams come from um i i explained uh, earlier about the brain and how it works you know um in most cases the the, the um, scientists will will explain dreams in that manner you know where they they will be um unpacking now the the, the chemical reactions of of the brain now where um setting waves of information come together at a certain point where they they create these visions that you see when you are sleeping now that is the scientific um, explanation of what we, we are now going into the spiritual side of dream the spiritual part of dreaming now what it means in a in a spiritual context one we need to understand the dimensions that are there in the I am going to explain from the zero dimension to the fifth dimension. If we like, we can have a part two of this topic 
where I will move from the fifth dimension to other dimensions. But now, the reason I am going to explain up to the fifth dimension is because that is where the importance of dreams is, is, is roaming around. You know, the, the fifth dimension is where it ends when we are talking about the dream, especially spiritual dream. Other dimensions that come after that, it, it, it's another story. Um, we have the zero dimension. What exists there? Who lives there in the zero dimension? What is happening there in that realm of existence? Because now, in all these levels and, 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 and realms of existence, there are things that exist there. There are things that are going on in, in, in those realms. So now we need to understand where dreams come from. We start from zero. In the zero dimension, it is a place where we call nothingness. You know, where nothing exists. Where there is a black hole, a void space that is filled with nothing. It is there, it exists, but there's nothing in it. That's where the source, the source, the creator of everything that we know and everything that we do not know, that's where it comes from. The source of everything comes from nothing. I hear people, um, they normally they, 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 they like to ask um, questions like, if God created us, who created God? You know, when, when people are challenging religion now, they come with, with, with such questions. If God created us, then who created God? If you are saying there's a source of everything or there's a creator, yeah, who created the creator? Who created the source? Now, I hope I am simplifying this, even for those who are coming with such questions. In the zero dimension, where nothingness exists, that is the birthplace of the source. That's where the source comes from. Now we move to the first dimension. The first dimension is where creation lives. Remember, the source comes from somewhere. Yeah. It is yeah. now in the first dimension where the tiniest, the tiniest of atoms exist. The, the, the things that 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 form physical um, organisms. That is where they start. That is their birthplace. That is where they come from. In the first dimension. Now, as, as a spiritual being, you can move back to 
the first dimension spiritually, but physically we have found a way to tap into those uh, a, a realm. We, we have now the microscope which can give us a glimpse of that dimension where we can see the, 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 the speck of, of an atom in its physicality. But what we cannot see is what is within the atom and what is within within that which is inside of the earth you you have something that that um a, 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 a scientists explain as a nucleus you know every every atom or every uh, proton whatever has a nucleus you know the core of that thing you might be able to have advanced advanced uh, 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 technology that can show you that core of an atom that nucleus but you cannot see with the naked eye what is inside that nucleus and for those who cannot explain it better they will take you back now to the zero dimension and say it's a void space within the nucleus there's nothing it's just an extended uh, a space a, a void space remember we are talking about something as tiny as invisible to the naked eye but now there is a void space which extends to infinity within that tiny thing. That is. It's like some your... have a question. <laughs> yes, I, I was explaining the first dimension before I go to the second dimension. Uh, you may ask your your question. Uh, um, Oh no, I said someone has a question for you. Is on the screen. That's Swazi. She says, um, <laughs> greetings, beautiful. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that'll be a universal question because a lot of people probably do have that 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 question to ask. What if you yeah. can't remember it, but it was a tent dream? You only just remember fragments of it. Yeah. I guess you would have to write it down uh, right after you wake up. Sometimes that helps. Yeah, but but now how right how do you do remember? You write, how do you write something that you don't remember? There got to be something to remember. If you think about it and start writing at the moment you wake up, it is a big big start to you. I think I think the question might be um, directed on 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 the side whereby what should I do before I go to sleep that will enable me to remember my dream when I wake up. Mm -hmm. um, I can answer okay. it in both ways that. Um, there are exercises that I normally give people to do before they sleep. And also there are exercises that I give mm -hmm. people to do when they wake up. One thing, one thing that, that, that mostly makes people to forget their dream is the first thought that comes to mind when you wake up. Remember if you wake up late for something you no know, you you have to go to a meeting or you have to go to work and you wake up late chances are you will not remember your dream because now the first thing that comes to your mind 
is stressful. Stress is the number one factor that makes people to forget their dream. Because now it's it's pressure in, in, in your mind. You know, the first thing that comes to mind, I have to wake up, I have to run, I have to be quick, I will be late. Already you have forgotten your dream. Mm -hmm. The ne mm -hmm. next thing is to wake up and not give yourself time to reconnect with the physical world now. Because remember, you are from another world, which is the dream world. You just woke up. And if you wake up and jump at the same time, you pick your blankets, you just run to, to, to the bathroom, you come back, you forgot your dream. You pick your blankets, you run to, to, to your children's uh, bedroom just to check if they are, they, they are still there or they are still okay. You come back, you forgot the dream. You must give yourself at least, at least five minutes before you get out of bed. Once when you wake, when you wake up, when you open your eyes, just relax, you know, relax as if you are meditating, you know, just relax, take a few deep breaths mm -hmm. and allow your brain now to tell you what you dream. Do not, do not search for that dream. Do not wake up and say, Oh, but I had this dream. You know, what was it about? Don't do that. Relax. Relax. It will come to you. It will play itself back to you like a movie. And now that is when you take your pen and paper and write down your dream. And if you do that mm -hmm. twice or three times in a row, that will become something that you're used to doing. Every morning when you wake up, you will wake up and give yourself five minutes. And now you will recollect now and have your dreams laid down in front of you and your body now uh, uh, coming coming back to it normally because the, the the reason why we have difficulty going throughout our day having these mixed emotions these stresses that are not going away it's because we don't give our bodies enough time to to register and take in the light the sunlight you know the, the the realization that I'm awake now. Some of us walk, walk walk around like zombies during the day, like you're still asleep because you didn't wake up properly. <laughs> you know, hmm. you, you just jumped out of bed and 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 and, and started acting and doing whatever you do on on a daily basis. You know, and that that is not healthy. Because now your, your body is still trying to, to find its it, 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 it balance, but you are already out there pushing it to, to the limit. Those are the things that make us a, a function in, in a certain way that, that is not normal. And we, we tend to forget important things because of that, we are always in a hurry. We're always in a rush to do something, to get something done. Relax. Relax. Take your time. So I guess I've answered um, mm -hmm. 
uh, the question about what to do for for a person not to to, to forget yes yeah if you don't let me want see to if there's another question behind that yeah is our morning mood influenced by our dream like you wake up angry or happy <laughs> um sometimes yes sometimes no i will i will say this um because now this question hi my presentation um perhaps if if, <laughs> I finish, if I finish my presentation um she would have understood what it is that 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 make um one to wake up feeling a certain way you know, because it's there within the, the, the presentation so I don't know if I should answer or carry on with the presentation, then the answer will come up um, out of the presentation. Okay, that's true. You can probably keep going. Yeah. Um, as I was explaining the dimensions, the different dimensions that exist, I was on the first dimension which is a realm of existence where the tiny particles or tiny parts that form the physical bodies that is where they come from um i was explaining how we as human beings have reached a level whereby we have devised tools that enable us to think or tap into the full dimension, which is the first uh, dimension. But I also said that even though we have devised tools that can enable us to see into the dimension, we still cannot see beyond what is there we can see the atom, we can see the nucleus inside the atom, but we cannot see what is inside the nucleus. Hence, we say there is a void space that extends infinity. And that void space mm -hmm. is in the zero dimension that I said. Now I'm moving along. We go to the second dimension. The second dimension is the one that now we we see um, creation. We see um, waves, energy, vibration. You know um, when 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 he Leonard scientists now come to explain such things. It is your radio frequency. So those, those um, uh, scientific big words that, that explain how, 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 how the, the frequency world works. Because we experience it physically. I can pick up my phone and call you. We speak. That, that's a physical conversation. But how my voice moves from South Africa to America is those frequencies now. So those waves, those vibrations now that exist in the second dimension. Even that dimension we can tap into and manipulate and use it as we please you know we have 
also devise a, a, a certain tool, machinery um, that enable us to tap into that realm, tap into that dimension, and control it as we wish, use it as we wish. But we haven't, just like, just like in the first dimension, where we are unable to see inside the nucleus, in this second mm -hmm. dimension, we haven't yet discovered all of the things that exist. Our technology has, has, has allowed us and, and enabled us to tap into certain frequencies, but there are some that we haven't reached yet. Of which I think that will be a topic for another day. There are lots and lots of information that come out of that. that, that if, if, if someone needs to pick my brain on that, we can save that for another day. I'm moving to the third dimension, which everyone knows. You know, if even even a child in in in, in preschool can jump up and explain the third dimension, <laughs> because that is the matrix that we are all trapped in. You know, the physical world now, the the, the flesh and 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 bone, the the the. the stone and rock, the sand particles, the, the water, the trees, everything that you can see, hear, smell, and touch, and taste, they exist in the third dimension. The experience, the physical experience is in the 3D. We are all experiencing 3D. When we look up in the universe, we see the stars, we see all these planets and all that, that we see at the coast and bring those planets closer so we can see how they do. That is all 3D. That is all 3D that we are experiencing. And I think if I go deeper into 3D, it is the program that is implanted within all of our brains that now enables us to experience the physical and interpret it in, 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 in our own understanding. So, um, Someone who cannot see still experiences the third dimension in his own way and own interpretation according to how he perceives or how he experiences the happenings around. Him. But that doesn't mean he lives in another dimension. No, he is still in the third dimension. And that he experiencing it in a different way. Just like other animals are experiencing the third dimension in a different way from us as humans. Remember a fish also has a brain. Its experience is in the third dimension. Mm -hmm. Just like yours as a human is in the third dimension. But it is not the same experience. It is it is it is um, a matter of perception. You know, how how this one was created to experience what it experiences in a way that it experiences. But we are all in the third dimension. 
now we go to the important part of the presentation which is the fourth and the fifth dimension i would like to explain them both at the same time because they go hand in hand they are made they are brothers you know they you you, you seldom uh, uh, separate them because the experiences are mostly similar almost the same in the fourth dimension it is that realm that you tap into when you go in a trance state when i say a trance state it is the part where when you meditate and go deeper into the spiritual uh, side of your being you know um most people like to call it the soul you know if you go and 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 experience the the, the, the form of your soul your soul can travel now to the fourth dimension your soul you you as a physical being you go into trance experience where your soul lives exit the physical third dimension it exits the third dimension and taps into the fourth dimension I want us to be very, very, very careful when when we are dealing with this topic now. Because now people tend to think that when you talk about the trans mode now where where, where the soul leaves the physical, they, they they sometimes compare it to death, you know, um because people believe that when you die the soul leaves the body so now when you you, you are talking about um the trans mode now the trans experience they think it's similar to death you know like you die your soul leaves it goes to another dimension and then it comes back you live again those are two different things some people Some people also think, not to cut you off, but some people also feel that the fourth dimension is also the fairy realm. That's where you could come into contact with the, you know, the fairies and the leprechauns and, you know. Yeah. The people. Yeah. And it's, and it's also a liquid realm, but it's not a liquid yeah. realm where you get it liquid it's not you you won't be wet from the liquid i don't know if that makes sense to people but that's what i've i've um read in this book called zuhuya into dimensional they describe the fourth dimension to be like that um remember now i i i i i, I as as i am explaining these dimensions i also mention the the bodies or the beings that live within those um, dimensions remember the zero dimension is a void space it, it's nothing but mm -hmm. something was born from that space which is the creator the source comes from that dimension then we go to the first dimension where you find the atoms and and and, and all those tiny things they live in, in in that dimension of which we have tapped into that dimension we can see them in the the second dimension you 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 find the waves now um the frequencies now we have also tapped into that 
we found those things, we experienced them, and we are using them, we know they live in the second dimension. In the third dimension is us. Now, in the fourth dimension, thank you, Empress, there are beings that are living in there. Now, I was explaining that you, as a, a living a organism that exists in the third dimension, how you can tap into the fourth dimension now through meditation where you go in, in trance and you enter that dimension, which is the fourth dimension. Those guys, the furries mm -hmm. and the other beings, you'll find them in there. That's where you meet those guys there. And their ancestors now who haven't moved to the higher realms, you know, who are still in the between world of coming back to reincarnate in the third dimension or moving up upper or upwards to other dimensions, they roam around the fourth and the fifth dimension. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they play with the fairy. <laughs> they are with the fairy there, um, mm -hmm. trying to decide where to go. In, in, in that dimension, that is where you meet such things. Now, this, this is where you can experience that dimension through meditation. Now, dreams come 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 to, to to play on this part now when you are sleeping it is the same way as when you are meditating because when we teach you how to many to meditate what do we normally say to you we normally encourage you to relax relax your mind relax your body Focus on your breathing or do not focus on anything at all. When you are sleeping, that that happens automatically. Automatically, when you are sleeping, your mind is at a meditative state. So your mm -hmm. soul travel at ease now. You know, when you are meditating and you have reached that state whereby your soul can travel, even in your sleep, your, your soul travels at ease. Now, in this case, for those who are still not yet um, 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 reached, who haven't reached um, certain levels of consciousness, they the, the, the are levels that they end up in you know when when the soul travels it can end that is why i said for today i will only tap into the zero dimension up until the fifth dimension because those are the common uh, realm the common dimensions that everyone experiences I am not going to talk about other realms which um, Shepsu and yourself and Press might be experiencing in your dream. Because now we will be talking about um, people who have reached certain levels of, of, of consciousness. People who have under, undergone certain training, certain initiation, um, whereby they can tap into other realms. I will just focus on the realm um, that are from the zero dimension to the fifth dimension, which mm -hmm. is for everyone, everyone experience. 
Now, when you sleep, right. just keep dancing. You, mm-hmm. you experience now the fifth dimension, which your ancestors also exist in. Remember, I said in the fourth and the fifth dimension, there are beings that are existing there. You spoke about the fairies, um, Empress, and there are other beings that are there. And those that have just left their body <laughs> and haven't, like haven't uh, reached the, 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 the level of, of, of transcending now to the higher level. They roam around those realms. That is why, as Africans, we have a belief that when someone dies, we need to go and release their um, spirit. You know, let it um, go to to. to to a relevant place where it should go because now if 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 we let them be trapped in the fourth and the fifth dimension chances are they will come back as ghosts i'm using inverted commas because um i i i do not believe in in ghosts or my interpretation of ghosts is 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 different from from the ones that um other people uh, uh, explain you know because um now a ghost is something not the haunted else. house ghost <laughs> in other yes not the haunted house type of ghost right not okay. not those ones not those ones but we are talking about the the spirit mm-hmm. which haven't left the, the the 3D now, you know. They are still around, but in the fourth and the fifth dimension, existing parallel, parallel with the third dimension. Hence, we in the third dimension now can sometimes experience them, you know, not in the haunted uh, uh, type of way. (laughs) Thank you for that. Not in the haunted type of way, but in a certain way that only um, 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 uh, spiritually trained people or people who have opened their third eye can experience you know those are the ancestors now mm-hmm. which 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 come as low vibrating energies now you know when 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 you go to to your um religious uh, uh, books now this is where you are told that um, there are demons or evil spirits or, or, or negative spirits. All, all those, those things that try to, 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 to explain these, these beings you know, and their existence. Those are the ones that couldn't transcend to higher levels of, of, of uh, dimension. So, in your dreams now, when you are sleeping, in your dream, this is the place that you visit now. Remember now, your soul is able to travel when your physical body is at a relaxed mode, at a relaxed state. This is where, in your brain, there's a place that houses your subconscious. 
conscious, no? The, the, the conscious you that is not physical, you know? Because there's a conscious you that is physical, that is fuzzing uh, about everything, that's worrying about everything, that wakes up in the morning and runs to do all of these things that you do that makes you forget your dream. <laughs> that is the conscious you. Now this subconscious place, it houses this you that, that, that lives in those dimensions. That is why once you master those dimensions, once you know how to maneuver around those dimensions, you, you won't be trapped in those. Also, if you master this physical being, you master the, the, the laws of Ma'at, you know, and also practice them on the ter, which is nature, you find yourself graduating now to other realms. Thus, when you die, your soul can transcend and can jump over to other realms and not be trapped in this fourth and the fifth. Now that you are still in this body and your soul is able to go into the fourth and the fifth dimension when you are asleep, here is what happens in those dimensions, in those realms that will make you see the significance and the importance of your dream now. The thing that makes your dream relevant for interpretation it is when you reach into those realms, now you experience certain things that speak to your inner being. Certain things that speak to your collective consciousness. Remember, the collective consciousness is the God that lives within you. Now, here are the experiences you will encounter in the dream world that will show you how important your dream is, that will show you the need for your dream to be interpreted. Let us forget about the feeling for, for, for a minute. We'll come back. Let us focus on how the soul experiences what happened in the dream. Remember, there are dreams that are called lucid dreams. Yes, the dream feels so real, like you are awake. Like when you are experiencing that dream, you cannot even tell that it is a dream. You think everything is happening in the end. And yes, there are signs that you will find now when you wake up from that dream. Because in most cases, you will wake up and you are sweating. Sometimes there is an encounter that you experience in that lucid dream where something touched you physically and you wake up you feel that touch you feel that pain you know it, it it's funny. like it was real it feels real like it was mm -hmm. you know you dream about someone stabbing you you wake up you feel the pain where you were 
stepped in your dream. Pay or attention. you dream that you have to use the bathroom. <laughs> or the dream that dream in your bathroom and you end up peeing yourself. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> That happens, <laughs> happens to children and adults. But I'm, I'm finding that out. It doesn't just happen when you're young. You dream and you was on the toilet bowl and then you peed in the bed. <laughs> this is happening yeah. to adults too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you get halfway through and you're like, I'm dreaming and I'm peeing on myself. <laughs> Next thing you, you feel warm. <laughs> or you're eating in your dream. Exactly, woman. Your legs are wet. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. you're eating in your dream, and you can taste the food that you were eating on your tongue. Yeah. And you know, you know in in or you in, tell in, yourself in, while you're dreaming. <laughs> you know, have you ever had the experience where you tell yourself in your dream that I'm dreaming, and I'm going to ask this lady something in the dream, so now wake up I to myself that I dream. Oh, I'm getting yeah. out of this dream because I don't like how this dream is going and I'm gonna wake myself up. Yeah. Or yeah. you see yourself in the dream. You're watching yourself like remote viewing. You ever heard of re remote viewing? Yeah. Where you're seeing yourself yeah. like dreaming. You're watching someone you're else, dream. but you, you're watching yourself. Like an out of body experience. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we got another question those, before you continue. Those we are the a, lucid a question from Fufu. Do family oh, members oh. that has passed on reach out to you in your dreams? Yes, Kufu. Most definitely. Yes, my brother. They do. They do that on a regular. Once you acknowledge them, they'll do that on a regular. 100%, my brother. They do. And in these two dimensions, the fourth and the fifth dimension, that's where you meet them. You know, remember, there are those who are trapped in, in, in the fourth and the, the fifth dimension. And there are those who have transcended and went to higher dimensions, but they can still come back. Right. If they want to visit you and bring mm -hmm. you messages and connect with you, they can still come back into the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, where you will go during your dream and meet them. That's why you have nice conversations with your 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 old your your old uh, 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 grand grand great great grandfathers great grandmothers, you know. Yeah. Oh, and then you know, like you felt like you was there before. When you wake up, you have a deja vu at some point in your life, and it feels there already. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, go Don't ahead. <laughs> um, if 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 I can quickly um have just one one minute, I would like to 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 charge this device because I was I wasn't aware that um the battery is going very very low. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna fill my cup up anyway. But I'm still listening. Go.
All right. Um, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was I wasn't aware that um the, the battery is low, but now it it's charging. Can can everyone hear me? I can hear I can hear you. Okay. Is my my audio is clear. My audio is clear, right? What did you say? Your audio is good? Yeah, it's clear. Okay. Yeah. Um as 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 we were answering um Kufu Kufu's um question. Yes, yes, my brother, um you do meet your your um your ancestors in 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 those um those realms you know in those dimensions or especially through dreams but for those who are spiritually gifted those who who have opened their third eye those who are able to now um go into other realms of 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 existence into other dimensions they can meet their ancestors anytime you know um for example like the oracle when we read someone's aura you know there are always beings that are surrounding that person of which only i can see them you cannot see them but they are around you you know and they are around you in the fourth and the fifth dimension they are there but because now i am gifted i have the ability to see those dimensions the fourth and the fifth i am able to see your ancestors around you and also see you at the same time remember at that moment i am using my physical eye to see you but my third eye is looking at that dimension now the fourth and the fifth dimension now i can see what is around hence now this is when we can tell you that so and so from your ancestry in the spiritual world is here and they are trying to give you such and such a message you may picture it in a way in a sense that maybe i am seeing a physical person with a body like yours but that's not how how it is a soul a soul has a body too which is invisible to the naked eye but that body is not the same as the body that we see in the physical third dimension is it now we have beings that live in mm -hmm. this dimension and they do not all look the same remember an atom doesn't look like a human being but an atom makes up the elements that form a human being doesn't look like a soul but a soul makes up 
the building block of what creates a being that you are seeing and calling it a human being. So now, it also has a body. Hence, it always attaches itself to this body. Remember, we once spoke about the collective consciousness, the atom, the atom that comes from the zero dimension, the creator, which manifested itself in everything that exists. Remember, it always enters a body. It always attaches itself to a body. An atom itself is a body with a different shape. A human being is a body in a different shape. A fairy is other being uh, a squash. All those other things, they have body different from other bodies. But the same atom, the same spirit attaches itself with each one. Now the soul has a body too, which with our third eye now, we are able to see that body and tell you if it's a body of your ancestor or if it's a body of another um, soul which is not of your ancestor. So this is what we yeah. In the fourth and the fifth dimension, in the dream world, if we can put it in the same world, dream world, that is where you do find that is where you experience now the soul and other beings that are trapped in there, or other beings that come from higher levels and coming down to be you through the dream. So, if we have any questions on that one? So we can move. I don't see any new ones in the chat. Okay. Because Not I want to, anyway. I want to go now deeper into the spiritual dreams now where we, we, we recognize our calling or where we are instructed or we receive instructions in a spiritual way. I want to, 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 to tap into that. Spiritual dreams normally come to us oh wait a minute wait a minute oracle before you move on oracle kufu have another question <laughs> i guess we didn't give that circulate <laughs> yes yes we could have given it a, a chance do dreams tell you the future It depends on what you you referring to when you say the future. Why I am saying that is this. Remember 
there is nothing like the present. We like to believe that we are living in the present, but the present does not exist. Each time you say present, a second has passed. And you are not in the present. Every time you try to, to fit yourself in the present, it has already passed. Seconds and milliseconds are always counting as you go about your, your, your life saying, I'm living in the present. You are not. You're not living in the present. Unless if, if, if yeah, you, you are stuck in the past, which I don't know how you, you become stuck in the past because it can only happen in your mind. When you are thinking backwards, when you are always recollecting things that have already happened, but the present doesn't exist. The future now, because I said it depends what you mean when you are talking about it. Because now the future is something that does not exist too. It is something that you hope for. It is something that you think is coming. What happens if you cease to exist now? Or you cease to, to, to live or to, to experience that which you call the present and the future? What happens then? What happens to that future that you're talking about? Does it still exist? So now, let me answer your, your, your question, uh, Brother Kuf. Yes, dreams can tell you of the things that are happening in the dimension that you exist in. Things that are the reality of your dimension, of your surrounding. The 3D that you are in, the matrix that you are trapped in, your dreams are able to show you what is happening in there. Thus, thus, you have a memory now. That when you remember a dream, in the near future, future, which is tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or next week or next month, when you see a certain thing and start to recollect now that I've seen this in my dream. It is something that has already happened that is still happening and that will always happen because it is something that exists within. The third dimension that you exist. Remember now, the importance of dreams is to keep you awake. That is the importance of it. To keep you awake. To make you aware of the dimension that you are existing in. You should always know that when you step on a coal you are going to burn you should always be awake to a notion that 
the experiences that you are going through are that of your consciousness collecting something and taking it somewhere. The only future that you can hope for, or the only future that you can be certain about, is reaching other dimensions, reaching other realms. But the tomorrow, the hour from now, the next week, the next month, the next year, that future is in the Why are dreams so hard for a person to remember once they awaken? <laughs> um, I think I've answered. <laughs> I think he wasn't. One. He wasn't listening when you did that. Yeah, I don't think he was on when you answered that the first time. <laughs> yeah, sorry, 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 my brother. Uh, we've already answered that one, but. <laughs> I think um, maybe later on, as, as, as we delve deeper into these dream interpretations, maybe we might come back to, to that one. But yes, dreams do tell of the happening um, that are happening within the dimension that we exist in. So if you would like to call it the future, um, according to your understanding of, of, of the 3D that you are existing in, thumbs up, you know, that will help you better understand what is happening around you, you know, where you are existing and how you are existing and the experience therefore that you're going through in this three dimension that you find yourself in so i hope i i, I answered um the part um about dreams telling the future I would like to move on now to um, the type of dreams that spiritually gifted people experience. Because I think that one will be most um, important to the people who are going through um, initiation people who are going through um, spiritual confusion you know you you have a feeling that you you might have a gift you know you have a feeling that you have a that there's a calling you know the certain things are happening to you that are telling you or showing you that there's a, there's a calling out there um, for you, but you don't understand those things. You don't know why they're happening to you. You don't know um, how it they come to you. But through dreams, sometimes you get to understand such, such things. I will make an example with shaman which um in, in in south africa some of them are called sangomas um there are people who have um spiritual callings of which in in, in most cases when they undergo um initiation which they call ugutwasa you know in, in, in That's the first yes you, you you have to go through you have to go through for you 
to become a Ukwasa. Pardon? The, the initiation, the Twasa. name of the initiation. Yes, Twasa, it, it, it's spelled T-H-W-A-S-A, Twasa, T-H-W-A-S-A. Okay. Yes, that is, that is a Zulu word for initiation. Okay. So when 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 you have to, 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 to go through that initiation, normally your ancestors now will 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 come to you and give you guidelines, you know. Um first of all, such people who are supposed to be trained or initiated into becoming some woman, they will have dreams where they encounter water, mostly. Mostly you will find that it's running water, like a river or waterfall. Sometimes they dream about serpents a lot. They dream about snakes a lot. And sometimes they dream about cows. The lucky ones, they dream about now their ancestors. They pray grandmothers, the great grandmothers, visiting them now, giving them something. Sometimes they will bring you a rock or they will bring you a cloth for you to, to put on. Or there are many symbols that they will bring to you. Now when you go to the oracle, they will explain to you what the dream meant according to what you were given by your ancestor that has visited you in that dream. Certain, certain things happen within those dreams that tell you that you are sick, you have a gift. And when you come to the oracle to consult, you will be told that your dream is you will have a gift. But now there is this thing that um, some, some oracles do. I don't know why they do that. But I, I will not ridicule anyone or bless anyone. But mostly when someone comes to consult with them, they come to conclude that you must come, I will initiate you. Once they have seen what your dreams mean, they tell you, no, come, I will initiate you. We once had a discussion about that, where one of the guests were he said he had a something like 20,000 for his sister to be. And when we went deeper into the story, we found out that the initiator now, you know, the oracle that they consulted, was the one who told them that bring your child, I will help with just work that way doesn't work. The very same ancestors came and showed you that if you have the gift, the same message that came to you and alerted you or opened your eyes to 
the fact that you have a calling, you are being called for a certain purpose. They will bring also the best thing that guides you into where you must go, who you must be in Normally people wake up from the dreams and start walking. They don't even know where they're going. They end up in a certain oracle's house, in a certain common's house. When they get there, they don't even know how they got there. It is because the spirit that called you was the one that was guiding you up until you lent the right place where Sometimes you don't even need an oracle or a shaman to eat. Sometimes what? By the same spirit that calls you. Yes, through dream, through vision. Once your third eye is open, you are now able to communicate with. You are now able to see the important where they come and give you teaching. Where now you can even see the things that live in the water, the things that hold certain powers, certain vibrations that you can use to help other people with. You meet those beings now. They are the ones that train you. They give you all the initiation. Give you all the place where now you will fully be in this state. oracle, and a spiritual. You ask yourself, how? How does that happen? Because someone needs to hold your hand and walk and go through step by step. How do you do Yes, there are those who need to be held by hand and be taught. Step by step, because of the nature of their gift, the nature of their calling. Remember, we don't have the same calling. We are different people with different gifts. So even our calling will come to us according to how we can handle them. If my spirit guides know that I am weak in handling certain parts of, of this reality that we are living in this great dimension, they will not give me certain duties or certain uh, uh, tasks to carry. Because they know that I, I cannot be able to handle those. I cannot be able to carry those. So I will need a certain training that allows me to carry this calling, this gift that I am doing. Hence, we do not have one shaman in the world. We have many shamans. Why? Because one has a role to play, which is different from another. And we must respect that. Yes, I am an oracle. Yes, I have a gift. Yes, I was called to do this movie. But there are certain things that I do not know. There are certain things that I cannot know. So you should not expect me 
to know everything or to do everything. As an oracle, I have my limit because this body that I am living in is also limited. Hence, there is another oracle who can do things that I cannot do. And he was designed and made for people who will come looking for such help from him. I'm a specialist in dream. Hence, I can interpret any dream. But when you go to another oracle, they, they they have a clue or they have certain knowledge about interpreting dreams. But you find that they can interpret other things. Why? Because their gift is not designed for that. They can do other things. You know. So they should be speaking in confidence on the part that they can specialize. Because now your gift is given to you with 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 the notion that you will be able to handle such a quality. The things that I have been given, things that I can do, I was called for because my body can handle that. And there are certain people that will come to me and they will receive that help from me. They will be helped because I am capable of doing that. But that which that I'm not capable of, I shouldn't lie to people and say I can do it. I can do it. There is someone who can. Exactly. Now, this is the problem that we have now with these initiators. No. They, 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 they recruit people. They want to make money. They tell people, since you have been dreaming about water, it means you have to be initiated. You must become a Sangoma, or you must become an oracle, or you must become a light worker, or all of those things just for this person to come and be initiated and pay. For that initiation. Mind you, not mm. every water dream is about you becoming a shaman. Not every serpent dream is about a spiritual gift. Certain dreams may come as messages that are trying to to warn you about something or make you aware of the things that are happening. Doesn't necessarily have to be a, a, a spiritual gift. But because someone has been taught that when you dream about a snake, therefore it is a spiritual quality. Now everyone who has a snake dream has a spiritual quality. <laughs> and we are going to initiate Everyone who has as, as long as they bring yeah. to us. We need that's real talk right there. We need to understand what dreams mean and how they play a role in our daily life. Hence, I've written these books. I'm trying to make it easier for you, the dreamer, to see within the dream what is significant for you. You and I can have the same dream, but meaning this uh, different having different meaning because now if if, if i dream of, of of a snake you also dream of a snake you dream of a black snake i also dream of a black snake. 
like me. Are we gonna sit here and say our dreams mean the same thing? You're in Miami, I'm in South Africa. The type of things that I see and do here in South Africa, I'm sure they're different from the type of things you see and do in Miami. But because we both dreamt of, of a black skin, right. we must be initiated the same way. You need to identify, mm -hmm. identify the experiences, what you going through, what you are seeing, what you are experiencing. Compare them to your dream. Find a reason why am I having such a dream? What does it mean to my daily experiences, my daily life? That is how you make sense of your dream. And that is how you are never going to be pulled by anyone who comes to you and, and claims to be a dream interpreter. Because now, when you understand mm -hmm. the meaning of the symbol, the meaning of colors, the meaning of animals, the meaning of environments that you find yourself in, when you are dreaming you can easily put them together and interpret your dream that will make sense to you not to another person to you the dreamer who says when you keep having the same dream over and over what does that usually mean that usually means you don't listen. <laughs> um, That's why I have to keep our, reminding you, right? <laughs> our, 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 our brains, that our is brains the came from the other side. Uh, our brains work in, in, in a certain way. Um, if something entices the brain you know if it's entertaining enough you want to see it over and over again you know if someone tells you a joke and you laugh so good you want to hear that joke again so th that is the work of the brain you know if if a brain um a, a had a certain experience that it it, it wants to have it back you will still have that same dream over and over again. But in, 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 in certain instances now, it is when you're really not listening, <laughs> then it will be repeated over and over until you hear. Um, here's, 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 here's a scenario now. Especially to those who are having spiritual dreams, where your ancestors are visiting you to, to, to come and alert you or show you um, uh, something about a, a calling or show you that you have a spiritual gift. Normally, they will bring the same dream to you over and over and over until it starts bothering you. Because now, if you are not paying attention, you will not be able to know that you have that calling or you have that. But now, if you're having that dream over and over and it starts bothering you now, you start asking yourself questions. Why am I having this dream over and over? That means you will go now and take that dream seriously and you will go now and start inquiring about the dream you visit your oracles now you ask them what does this dream mean you get an interpretation of the dream you understand it it registered now it will stop earlier on chef said he used to dream about uh, uh, dogs chasing him all the time you know those dogs were 
were trying to tell him that you need to come to the spiritual side. Focus on us. Dogs are your ancestors in that state. In that dream, your ancestors are chasing after you while you are running away from that calling. Now that they have found you and brought you to where they want you, there are certain things that you are doing spiritually. There are certain uh, 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 initiations that you are going through. Those dreams, of course, they are going to stop. You will have new dreams now. So what about the dogs? No, they, what about no, the dogs they, in the they, background no, now? No, they come. They come, but they're friendly now. They, they sound friendly. like they're hungry, like chefs are not feeding his dogs. Yeah. <laughs> so those are my... They're not hungry anymore. Did you feed your dogs today? Because they're yeah. barking like they're hungry. I did. I did. Before, before I started the show, I went to meditation. And Rachel, to they're my going ancestor. off right now. <laughs> every every day, yeah. yeah I, I, I have to Rachel every day. I can't oh, like this right now. I can get um, They're making a lot of noise out there. Oh, because we're they talking know we're about talking them. about the dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that happened so many times. Every time I'm thinking something, sister. They just say the same thing. <laughs> it has not a coincidence, you know. They said initiation. Did I hear initiation? Then they start barking. <laughs> you know. <laughs> did he say oh, by the way, looking. Uh, did he say initiation? <laughs> By the way, I put the link uh, to the the guy that took uh, the uh, the meat from the lion. Yeah, because um, that's a uh, that's a link to to some African who took uh, uh, the lions the food from the lions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was talking to the oracle earlier about it. And uh, it's about two minutes and twenty two minutes and twenty five seconds only. It's not it's not a long video, a very short video. Uh, because I thought they, these people were uh, koi koi, so that's why I mentioned to him, those koi koi people are able to take uh, meat from the lions. But I'm not sure whether they are Maasai or or whether they are koi koi, because they could very well oh, be. Oh, I don't think I was on. I think I was. I wasn't on the air at that time, right? Yeah, but I, I put the link there on the comment section, on, on the private. On the oh, private I thought chat. you were talking about earlier when we first started. No, okay. you know, no yeah, on, on the private chat, I, I, I put it there for him. Uh, it's about 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Okay. So, yeah. And, uh, okay, when he comes back, we check the chat, the private chat. Okay. Yeah, so I, I should copy and paste it and put it in the other chat too, if it lets me. Yeah. Let me yeah. See. So people can it, you know. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. I was uh, I was surprised by it. that's the link right there for for the uh, for the koi koi people taking the meat out of the lion's mouth. So you you tell me they call call once you watch them, all right? Uh, Oracle, you tell me once you watch the video. You tell me if they call call because I'm not sure. They could be. They, I'm not. Yeah. Sure. You 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 said you will send it to me on on a, on a private chat, right? Yeah, it's there now. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll watch it um, after we we done with the. With it's the only, yeah. It's two minutes and twenty-five seconds, so it's not long. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll watch it when when we done because um, I'm 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 in the spirit mode now. No, no, no. I, I'm afraid you. if you later, too later. I, I lose that connection. Uh, all all the knowledge that I've been sharing here will just disappear. <laughs> 
the before I mentioned, right? Yeah. And you turn into the liquid. <laughs> Go into the liquid realm. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, that is that is basically um what what the dream world um means um and the spiritual dreams um the the the, the, the importance of, of, of those dreams and how one should interpret them. Because now, also, your mind can play tricks on it. I want us to, to be very, very careful when it comes to dreams that your mind can also play tricks on you. Because now, if you think about something so much that you you, you 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 house it somewhere in your brain where it is easily accessible you know when whenever you you're not doing anything or not thinking about anything it's the first thing that pops up in your mind you are surely going to dream about that if you are fascinated about certain topics, you always want to find yourself uh, discussing certain things, you are surely bound to dream about those things. You know, and 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 now you you will want to find meaning in those dreams that are influenced by your brain. Um, I normally make examples of such dreams as nightmares. You know, spiritual dreams can be nightmares sometimes to people who are timid or people who are who have little understanding of the, the spiritual world or the fourth dimension. In the fifth dimension because now if you dream about a fairy and you have never heard anything about a fairy or you are not familiar with with, with such being it is something that is going to be scary to you you don't know what it is and when you get scared in a dream the nightmare so spiritual dreams can also be nice, but it is not always that spiritual dreams come as a nightmare. But remember, your ancestors will not scare you if they want to give you a message that will let you leave or a message that will um, give you purpose in life you know unless if you are dreaming about dogs chasing you uh Shepsu, then it it might be a nightmare because now you you are afraid of of, of getting bitten by a dog yep. That's true. <laughs> and then the next thing you wake up on the floor you're no longer on your bed. It happened one time. Now you, you sit down and ask yourself, was I really running, <laughs> literally running in my bed and ended up on the floor? <laughs> you see? So those, those, those are the, the type of dreams you, 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 you encounter. And now nightmares sometimes nightmares are influenced by your fear mostly your fear remember now if you want to to, to, to make an ex experiment now um you can take those horrible movies that i was talking about 
the last time and yeah. watch three or four of them on 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 two or three consecutive days and see what happens on the fourth day. That's what an experiment. You take two or three movies, the horror, horrible movies. You watch them on three consecutive days and watch what will happen on the fourth day. I'm telling you, you are bound to have a nightmare. Going to dream Freddy Krueger chasing you <laughs> with his knife. <laughs> What about if you want to change the scenario of the dream and you be chasing Freddy Krueger with his knives? <laughs> How about that? That's when you have power. Well, you, you, have, you have mastery you over your dreams. You can. Um, th those are dreams that are influenced by your brain. Uh, there is there is this thing that um i used to teach people i don't do that anymore because i've seen um it's a waste of time and it is also something that uh that doesn't help in most cases i used to i used to teach people how to influence dreams you know before you sleep there's a certain meditation that I used to teach people that they must do to influence certain dreams to come to them. But now people will create stories, you know, their own narratives of what they want to dream about. And then now it's no longer a spiritual dream. It becomes your thinking, you know. You are half awake, half asleep. You think you're dreaming, but you were you, you were just thinking, you know. So I stopped teaching people that technique because now I it was giving me problems. People would come to me with things that they were thinking and telling me they were dreaming. You know, telling me, oh, I dreamed about this and this yesterday. Can you please explain that to me? And I, I can see that you just thought that now, you know. Or you, you thought about it before you went to bed. So those, those were a waste of time. They were a waste of time. So I stopped. I stopped. And they telling that. you, no, I didn't. I dreamed it. Yeah. Right. But I can see through people, yeah. you know. I can see through people. So it, it's useless to, to, to lie to me. Because so, I already know the truth. So that's why I stopped um, teaching people those techniques. And I just let people be. I just let them go and have natural dreams that come naturally. Spiritual dreams that come from the spiritual realms, from other dimensions. And then we are fine. When you come to me with such dreams, I can interpret them for you. And tell you what is within that dream. You know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. what what about a day man? Well, we have daydream. Now, this is the first time I hear a day man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the opposite of night. That's when you you, you have that. That's when that's when you have a bad dream in the daytime. Remember, Frank. Yeah. Uh, but get you in the day and in the night. <laughs> you know? And there, there is something that I forgot to, to also present on my presentation. You know, there are certain positions that you sleep in that influence how you dream. Most people, when they sleep facing mm -hmm. upwards, you know, when they sleep facing upwards, they have nightmares. Most people have nightmares. 
I've, I've had hundreds of people telling me when I sleep like this, facing upwards, I have a nightmare. Other people tell me that when they sleep on their stomach, flat on their stomach, they have um, those out of body experiences whereby they find themselves standing outside their bodies and watching themselves uh, sleep. You know? Others would tell me that they have a problem of sleepwalking. But sleepwalking only happens to them when they sleep in certain positions. So also the way you sleep, the position you take when you sleep is also influenced how you sleep. So we must also know that. Um, if, if, if you want to have a beautiful dream during the day, you know, while we are talking about the day, you want to have a very beautiful dream during the day. Find a tree that has a nice shade that you can go and lie under. When the, the sun is hot, you find a nice shade under a tree where a small breeze of cool wind is blowing and sleep there. You will tell me what you dream. So even the environment also has an influence on 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 your. Remember, if 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 you sleep um, in a room that has certain vibrations in it. If they are low vibrations, you're not going to enjoy your sleep. And definitely you are not going to have pleasant dreams. Because the atmosphere in that room is not pleasant. Therefore, you cannot have pleasant dreams. So... That is as far as my presentation goes for tonight. And I would, I would, I would have loved to, to, to go to other realms of existence, to other dimensions, but I just wanted to focus on the zero to fifth dimension so that we 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 can be able to understand the the meaning of of our dreams and the importance of us dreaming in this three dimension that we are living in. So without ruining the, the, the presentation I would like us now to we have a dialogue. If there's anything that um, you can add there or anything that you would like to ask, you can, you can, you can have a dialogue. Well, um, I used to have certain dreams very often, but that was like when I first started a spirituality for the first time because I, 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 went, I went to spirituality and I practiced spirituality for like 10 years and then I left the spirituality. And then I went back to spirituality after, you know, I, I had more experiences in the world. But when I first started the spirituality, like like uh, within a year of uh, being within the spirituality, I used to have those dreams 
like if somebody died I, I could like travel to the place where that person was and and I could see like there was a guy that that was in able that 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 died I used to be an alcoholic and when he died and I dream of him where he was and he was and I went I, I, I like I flew there and I saw him like like kind of having the shape of an animal and I don't think that's the only one I, I've seen other other people who have died in different shape that they that depending on the circumstances that they died that they take it so a horrible shape or something like that like I used to like travel I used to like fly I could fly up how high I wanted to fly how fast I wanted to go and uh, and I only when I when I came back to spirituality I only have that kind of experiences like like two times only like two times but before I used to have them very often almost daily I used to like travel I used to fly I used to go places I say okay let me go inspire the neighbor or something then I in my dream and I would go and travel and see but I don't think it was it would be not it would be like a different dimension that would be not, not the same like physical dimension we see you see the people but you see them in a different dimension or you see a lot of people that not moving like just standing like still but they people but they not doing anything and then you travel and then you see everything and what do you think about that yeah 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 um you know i the, the the experience of 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 meeting someone in 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 the other dimension who has just passed on um as i as i mentioned earlier it doesn't mean that all those that you find in 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 the fourth and the fifth dimension are trapped there you know there's there's a certain period that we all gonna pass there you know it, eventually before everyone moves to other dimensions they start there that is that is the the, the, the first step that you enter after leaving the body so you have a gift so that that is a gift because not anyone is able to experience what you have just experienced you know? that ability that that you have to see that body of that soul that you saw is a gift and uh, according to my understanding i would believe that you were having this before you were to receive any kind of of, of uh, initiation right yes yes uh, when i first started uh, the, uh, the, the the spirituality but it wasn't i wasn't yet into initiation or heavy like like i am now but like that happened like mm -hmm. uh, like within the first two years of spirituality and I was having those dreams yeah. and I was flying I I was able to fly in my dream and I will I will I will have like do it on wheel at will at will whatever I want yeah. whenever however high I want to go I want to go to whatever place I wanted to go I could go with ease no problem and uh, I will go mm -hmm. I will not be afraid of height I can see I can fly I can I will I can decide let me go into people's house I used to go into people's house houses and villages and go inside and, and nobody can see me but I'm traveling within the house and seeing everything that's happening in the house the most of the time I see the people like standing then I like moving then I'm moving they like like a status but there were people they were they were alive but they were not moving like active most of the time so yeah that, that is that that is what i'm saying you you had you have a gift that enables you to tap into into those um different realms 
know of which when you were not aware that you have that gift it was just something that was surreal for you you know something that was just happening and you were surprised you know that yes. how am i is it a dream or is it a fantasy but now when you go deeper now into the the, the spiritual understanding of things you 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 start to make sense of 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 these things you know you you start to um put them into perspective you know you 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 understand now this is the spiritual world and this is the physical world. this is the dream world and the fantasy world you know so you 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 write on point and what i can just add on what you just said is that it is it is an ability that not everyone is able to do you know of we you the one who is able to do it is the quality you know it's a gift yeah yeah thank you yeah what what that um, um have other questions there no i i say nobody else is asking questions uh, okay. no i don't see anything yet except for you know what that's it and you answered the day me i thought i thought i thought maybe someone will 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 write their dream there and i would um interpret it for them but hey i i i am um, i interpreted shepsu's dream um the one about dogs i yes. hope uh, you you got the clarity of that dream so what about if you dream about a family member that passed away and she comes and pick you up in a uh in a tan car and the car changes from tan to red and she's moving real fast she knocked on the door real fast told you to come out the house you're in the car and she's driving fast for you to go with her somewhere to meet some lady i think about that dream before my grandmother's sister one of my favorite aunties um normally when 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 someone who has passed when they come to fetch you i normally tell people to retreat you know, never go anywhere with a dead person <laughs> that's what i tell people but um it's not always <coughs> it's not always that they they come to um collect you from from the physical world to, to their world sometimes they are here to, to to take you and rush you to a certain place that needs your attention you know um remember in in your case this person came to to collect you in a car the important part of your dream should be the color of that car it will tell you story you know it will it will it will reveal certain things just the color of the car and where you went with her and what were you doing when you got there to the place that this person who who has passed on took you to because now the color of the car will show you the the the, the, the severity of the situation or the importance of, of the situation and what you did when you got the destination that they took you to will show you what needs to be in your attention 
know what you should pay attention to that is what the message is, is, is all about you know? this um person who has passed on has now came back to take you now physically to the place where you need to pay attention to where the, there's a problem or where there's a situation that you need to pay attention to they are now taking you there physically because maybe maybe we might have shown you a sign before that you need to pay attention to such and such a situation but you ignored it now they coming in a hurry they coming to fetch you physically and taking you there and once you get there you see whatever you see you wake up in the morning now you must pay attention to that place that they do and go find out what is it that needs your attention that we never made it to the place because my daughter called and i woke up then your daughter was the place <laughs> because if she's the one who interrupted the, 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 the dream that means they were taking you to her and since they came physically dragging you to that place now here's someone who calls you now physically and in this dimension that you are physically in. now you are being pulled from the third dimension into the fourth dimension being rushed to a certain place to pay attention to now that place seems too far the very same person that you were supposed to go to calls you in the third dimension now you leave the fourth dimension you come back to reality now you must pay attention to that And what did she want when she called? What did she say on the phone? She was just calling and talk. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't remember it being like a, a specific reason. She was just calling and talk. But it was nothing important. No, it was nothing that, that, that. No, that, I, mm -mm. And I bet you were angry. Why? he had to take you out of that dream before you reached your destination but the irony part yeah, I was the irony with part my auntie it, now yeah but the irony part of it is that she was important at that moment you know as the dream never came back if it came back maybe you would have reached the destination right right but that is certain things needed your attention that's why your auntie came back to see that. and sometimes sometimes you find that on the other side they 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 need you to to come and rescue them or rescue someone or do certain duties on 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 other dimensions so they come and remove you from the third dimension. They do that. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've, seen, we've seen many people die in their sleep. And we cry over that, saying, no, it wasn't their time. They shouldn't have had. But you don't know what they are needed for on the other side. No, you don't know why they came back. <clears throat> I remember my grandmother who raised me um, prior to, to, to her passing, so a, a week before she passed on. She, she was laying in her bed. Um, she wasn't able to, to do anything anymore. She, she couldn't walk, she couldn't wake up the bed but she could talk you know um i remember she she, she she told us that 
she sees someone coming, walking in the street, coming to our yard every day. And that, that person looks like her father. You know, her father who died years, years ago. We were not even born when he died. But now this is my grandmother talking about my mm -hmm. grandfather. You know? So she was saying right. to, to us that she, she sees um, she sees my grandfather coming um, every day, but he never reaches the the house. You know, he never comes to the door to knock. But she sees him um, walking mm -hmm. towards our gate and entering the gate, but never coming. That happened maybe um, three or four days. On the fifth day, she said to us, uh, my father is here, he's in the house, and he came to fetch me. You know, I'm living with him. And we, we were telling you, like, but there's no one in the house, only us. So your father is not here. Then no, my father is here and he came to fetch me. No, no one um, believed what she was saying. She was saying it on a Thursday, on Friday morning, the next day. And still no one understood what all that meant until we started opening up our third eyes, started getting spiritual wisdom and all that. That is when we started understanding that truly someone came to fetch him. He was the only one who could see him because he came in the fourth dimension, fifth dimension. And we now, in the third dimension, we can see what she is seeing. It was hard for us to believe that truly someone came to right? So, yes, when we interpret certain dreams that you find yourself with the ancestors for those who lived before you and passed on, when they come and ask you to accompany them someone or ask you to live with them, sometimes it's a sign that you are living locally. You are passing on to other um, realms or other things. But not always. Not always. Sometimes. The sign mm -hmm. of death. Hence, I tell people if you are aware and you can see that this person came to fetch me, you must say no. <laughs> you, you know, it's not time for you to leave yet. So you must tell them, Go, I'll follow you <laughs> when I'm good and ready. And I ask them, What's the lottery number? <laughs> That'd yeah. be great too. Yeah, you ask them, hey, give me the, the, the lottery number so that I can get rich or something, you know? You must just do something good, not come and yes. fetch you. you know? So, this, that is, that's what happened to my mother too before her passing. You see? It was not only me who had that experience with my grandmother. Even uh, Swazi, Swazi had the same <laughs> experience with her mother before <laughs> she passed. 
<laughs> Those are great experiences. A lot of people experience that around the world. So it's definitely yeah. uh, a parallel world situation going on. And only for the person that they're coming to receive can see it. But the person will tell you about it, even though you can't see it. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It, it, it's a nice, it's a nice um, topic to have. Um, when people are faced with um, the um, people are being warned every day through dreams, but they choose to ignore them. That's why they fall for the scam, you know. Scams of those who who, who come uh, in the disguise of, of shamans and, and oracles, but not doing the, the, the work of the light. Because I don't I don't think um, mm -hmm. if you are using your your spiritual gift correctly you would go to an extent of deceiving people. You know? That is why I like it so much when people disagree with me. Because I, I, I don't want people to agree with me just because I'm an oracle. If, if you feel that what, what I'm saying to you is, is not the truth, you have the right to disagree with me. And I do not have the right to force you to True. believe. But, but that's what is happening exactly. out there. That's what is happening out there. Oracles are forcing you to take what they tell all because they want to be paid. You know, so payment aside, let us not put money in, in, in front of humanity. Let us not put money in front of love. Let's start by being human. Let's start by being loving beings. And we, the material will follow. Of course, we do need to. Of course, surviving this yeah. But we cannot put it above all things, above the finish, above love, above anything. So we can so, yeah, that is that is my case. The whole um, Um, if, if we still have other uh, things to discuss, I can just add a few minutes to the time that I have. Because it, it's 24 in my time. Yeah, it's been a very good lecture. <laughs> More interesting than I thought <laughs> it was going to be. And I see that you got into the in like in a state of uh, compassion. Like I could see like within you, like you have into that state of compassion for people. Like you start seeing like uh, people with compassion. The way you was you were talking at the end. Now I don't know if if I. Mis misinterpreted it, but that's how I felt it. The way the words were coming from your mouth, you were pronouncing the words like you were like feeling compassion for people in general. The way you were talking, I don't know if I misinterpreted that or was I correct? I don't know. 
So that's how I felt. You were, you were yeah, correct. That that's correct. Yeah, because you know people, you can say that this guy loves people. He loves humanity. You know, he loves like you know, like to save everybody where you can't. You know. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because um, you you cannot help but but be a, a a spiritual being that you are. You know, before before you are this body, you are a spiritual being, and a spiritual being vibrates at a certain level. You know, it's either you, you you vibrate low or you vibrate high. There's no other vibration. You know, you are either a low vibrating spirit or a high vibrating spirit. Mm -hmm. And for you to be a high vibrating spirit is for you to accept the light that you are. Light is good. You know, the source, the source of life, the source of creation, the source of everything is a good thing. It's good and it is made out of love. You know, it is made out of love. And everything that it does, all, all of its creation, it creates with love. It does everything with love. That is the high vibration. You know, when you have too much love, when you have too much light, you vibrate at a higher frequency. Yes. But now, when, when you come with hate, you come with, 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 with too much um, negativity, you come with um, all of these low vibrating frequencies that that's what differentiates you from the light being you become the dark being because you are vibrating low and that is what distinguishes the good from the bad you know that is what uh, makes um, those other worlds that exist outside of the one that we are used to, that make them uh, different now from how we experience things as human beings living in the third dimension. Because I may see light beings that are vibrating at a higher level. Someone else will see dark beings, not light beings, but dark beings that are vibrating at a lower level. Why? Because of how you groom yourself. What you are collecting into your consciousness is what you attract. You are Attract what you are collecting with your country. Because remember, your duty here on this third dimension as a human being is to collect experiences, collect information that you are experiencing yourself as a god. You know? A yeah. god living in the physical and experience in the physical world. Now, how you how you experience that physical world? You choose how how, how you experience. It. If you want to choose, if you choose to experience it on the lower level, it's fine. Go ahead. Remember what you experience. Attract what is on the other side. As above, so below. That's right. 
the very same energy that you are attracting is going to be sent to come and help you and boost you in what you are doing. This is where prayer comes from. When the religious people kneel down to pray, they are asking for the energy to come from other realms, other dimensions, to come and boost what they are trying to achieve here on the physical. Now, if you are vibrating at a lower frequency, the only thing you can attract from the other side is low vibrating spirit. Yes, sir. They will come. If you are here to kill people, the low vibrating spirit will be your, your guide. They will be your friend. They will be your strength. They will be the ones who are there with you every day, giving you strength and the will. So, I was heading to what you were saying that I love I, 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 I have love, love. the level that I am I am not thinking about it I am not being uh, proud about it I am the fact of who I am, that, that is how I am. Nothing I can do or nothing I can do That is why I normally I normally say this all the time. When they say to me, I hope I didn't offend you. I hope I don't make it. I don't Even if I may express the, 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 the signs of, of a person who is angry. That doesn't even last for a minute. It, it, it doesn't even have a place within me. Physically, yes. Um, because I'm an actor, sometimes I can act. When someone is acting, I always, you know, so when you come to me with all low vibration I can also access this as my brain and that makes what it thinks down inside I know that there's no thing and no room but not the type of being that I am hence I do not see to tell to be that I am I cannot hide that. I because I believe that it may free them, it may free their soul, you know, and make them. There's nothing, nothing that exists. Once you are heaven, you are happy. You may sleep hungry, but when you are happy, that hunger means nothing. Those that we call poor, we say they do not have material. If they are happy, they are the most richest in this whole world. Richer than the one who has millions. Millions, they are the richest because they are happiness is the ultimate goal that we must all achieve here on this three years that we are achieving. And that is my aim, my goal. I want to be fulfilled. I am fulfilled when I see someone. And if I'm the reason for that smile, if I'm the one who put that smile on that person's face, wow, I have achieved it. 
Hence, I am using my gift freely to speak so that I can see that smile on their face. When someone is sick, they are not happy. But if they come to me, I heal them, they become happy. I have, I have achieved my goal. When I make someone happy, I've reached my goal. Okay. Thank you. I, I, I put uh, the name of, of a book down there too. Can you see it? Sister Najis and Brother uh, Oracle. Uh, on the chat session. Like in the private yeah. chat? On the private chat, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Healing the mind. Is that it? Yeah. What is it? People. Virus that plagues our world. Okay, yeah, I, I see it. That was so with they're together with Tico and the other part at the bottom is they're together. That's um okay. that's uh that's something that I always knew. I just didn't know the name of the, the, the that entity. That's the entity responsible for for people harming themselves and harming others, uh, being selfish and. Uh, hating each other is an entity that feeds on people uh, uh manifesting those emotions those entities feed on certain emotions i just didn't know the name because they have different names they, they have a name of soul culture as well so there is a book yeah. that you find on amazon that's the, that's exactly the name but written by that guy that i'm reading right now and uh that's uh something that uh, i always knew that was happening that uh that some people are susceptible to to be controlled by certain entities and then when you see a group of people you can you you how can you explain that a group of people being christian going and putting cross in front of somebody's house burning cross and if they found on the street at a certain time they will hang you or they and they were christian too at the same time but they have to be possessed by, by something you see, they have to be possessed by that fact because not all of them were doing it, you see. But uh, since it was the law, if uh, those who were called negro lovers, they will be paying the consequences for being uh, as such. Mm -hmm. You see? So, sometimes you cannot explain the whole thing. You cannot explain why those who didn't agree, didn't, you know, fought. A little harder and prevent those from uh from implementing certain uh, policies okay so that this uh wetiko will help explain um the reason why people behave a certain way and uh, what happened was that i was writing about uh, uh, i started writing about uh, the association the association of uh of um, the American Association of Psychology. That's, uh, that's I, I wrote the first paper concerning that, that. That was my last class. And I was writing a second paper concerning that that uh, same uh, uh, organization. And the organization has written a document apologizing about all the, all the uh, harm that they have caused Black people including supporting which, a policy, which organization was the american psychological association is on oh, their website yes. the, apology. the apology is on their website i can even i can give you the website i can i can even uh text the website there uh, it's on the website they apologize and they have like 15 or, or they have 13 different things that they have done that harm, have harm have uh, uh, black people, including the mentality, including the mentality that's prevailing today within people's mind of a race being superior to another. You see, so I did write about that, and um, when I was about to write the second paper, and I was because what what I was seeing, I was seeing like there was some some sort of creation of. 
psychopathic uh, behavior that they have created within the mind of the people. And when I was about to write that one, I did write it. I wrote the paper and the spirit stopped me. They stopped me from writing the paper. I was wondering why. They said, first of all, I was weak because I was watching something I was not supposed to watch. Or something that I thought it was innocent to watch. I didn't, I didn't see anything wrong about it. But I had a blockage in my mind. And I knew exactly what it was immediately. And it was some some sort of some sort of dance, African dance that was that was happening. And then once they stopped me from doing that, and then they told me now you have to cancel the class until you prepare again. So I, I canceled the class and I start. I'm gonna say I say okay, I'm gonna do research on what I'm gonna be writing about, and and I said okay, I'm gonna start with the, the Association of Black Psychologists. I'm going to start with that. And then when, when, I, when I was getting ready to start writing, a book fall down on my head. And the book was a book about, uh, about a, psych a black psychologist specific. And then that meant, that meant to me exactly, this is why you have to start. <laughs> you understand? It's like a message. Like it, fall, it fell on my head. I was like trying to look yeah. for something and that book specifically came for, fell on my head. <laughs> and then that's when, but, but, and then, so what I meant by that is that it wasn't that it's like a, a psychopathic behavior that they created in the mind of the people, but it, it's deeper than just a psychological aspect because we have those entities, invisible entities who have power to control people's mind, you see, and make people act inappropriately you see make people yeah, hate each yeah. other you see so the basically they are the the, the the ancestor was telling me don't go so hard on the people you see do not go so hard on the people and then that's when i feel i found the the word with with uh with tico like two days after they stopped me from doing that so they say look at with tico instead like you know like it was kind of a message like don't be accusing people of being psychopaths or anything like that. Go to you yeah. teach spirituality. You see, you're not teaching psychology, so you have to go into the deepest. And then now we we know that there are people who are more susceptible to to negative entities. Those entities, invisible entities, that manifest themselves, in, in, and then they they they, they feed off people's anger, people's uh, disharmony. People conflicting, conflicting with each other, you see. So yeah. it became like more clear why they wanted me to avoid the the subject. Do not make people because especially you teaching people who are not used to this type of spirituality that me and you know about. You see, the the they spiritual, they, although they call it spirituality, what they're practicing is more similar to to Christianity, the way they practice it, mm. you understand? They're not practicing like, because we know about, we know about quantum physics, we know about those, that we are connected at a certain level, which we can call God himself, okay? But they don't, they, they cannot think in those terms, you see, when they take off of the deities, they will take of deities that have been separated from them and things of that nature, so they have a different way of, so if you go into making this type of um, this type of um, um, statements about people being psychopaths and things of that nature, that will hurt them more than it will help them because now they will they not they not train yet into know how to deal with the emotions when they confronted with uh, with those attacks psychological attack that they they. Uh, they, they, that they have ex they experience on the daily basis and then now that they're going to be a, a, a always on the offensive and then it's better that for them not to see yet not to see yet and start cleaning them you see so they can start preparing them you know so so when the time comes for me to train them how to go into the experience then it should be that that's how i see it very very approach to it so 
So I, I put that because I know that you you a person that like to like uh, info, get info, be, be informed. So like that, you can get uh, hold of that book. And uh, you know, and because uh, uh, sometimes, as I do too, as all, we all do, even my master does, read a lot of books of different people with different information. And sometimes you have, like people like us understand the, the realities, understand different dimensions, understand it. But finding the specific words, you know, to explain certain reality, we may not know it on, until you go to certain people who have mastered that area. Um, you understand us? Okay. So, also for you to understand humanity, for you to understand human beings, people that you live with in, in, in this dimension, you need to understand how people think and for you to know how people think you need to read different writing from different people you know without prejudice you know i read white people's books you know even though i'm a black conscious guy you know um, some of my friends who are pushing the black consciousness movement they don't read anything that is written by a white man <laughs> but i read anything that i can get my hands on i read That's right. That's right. another another thing that helps me is because of um, the ability that i have of learning languages fast you know i i i know 14 languages now and I'm still adding on how many on top of that 14, one four. Wow. So I'm still adding on top of the 14 that I know. And that that helps me a lot because now I can read in other languages too. You know, I I don't only read in English, I read in other languages too then I get to know how different people think, you know, how different people view the world, you know. And when I come back now and look at myself and how I perceive the world and how I think, I can see where I fit in and where I do not fit in, in this world that I, I, I am existing in with other people, you know, because I'm not here alone. I'm here with other people and experiencing them at the same time. So now I need to understand them in order for me to share what I have and for me to gain what they, you know, and you can only do that with love. When you have love, it's easy for you to interact with people easy for you exactly. to learn from people and it is also easy for you to teach you know this is what we're here for to exchange you know you give i receive i give you receive and and we know we we learn ourselves better through people with people from people even what as you said before whether because in in uh, my system of, of spirituality, we have no enemies. Because yeah. everything that we see is a reflection of ourselves. Everything that we see. Thank you. See? Thank you. We, it, it is our self-reflected back to us. Because when there is, I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with that uh, psychologist called uh, Francis Cress No? You're not familiar Francis with Francis Chris Wilson, Wilson. Oh, no, no. Because she was, she's one of the, the greatest psychologists, black psychologists that there has been in the United States. One of the greatest, mm -hmm. if not the greatest, but she's among the, the of the greatest. She is, uh, and then she was talking to about um, how come black people became white, and she was talking about 
those black people who, who became white were albinos who were chased by black people because of being different and so they got caught into the eyes and then that transformation I, I mean i saw it like wow that's like why you so that means that you did something to them you see you're responsible for them to be caught on the, on the ice based on her theory you well, see, because there, there are different narratives of, of, of that story. Um, yes. So, so every every researcher, when they go out to research such stories, they they come back with a different version. You know, so there are many many versions of that story of how uh, the white man came to be, of which now. Um, it, it's starting. It's starting to call me now. That stop. But I, I also have done so much research about it. So I even got what of this book. Even in my book, you know, mostly even about uh, the folklore. You know, that, that I wrote in my short story. There are about it. But now, I, 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 I ended up in the, the importance of it. Because now, it, it takes us back to the very same that we are trying to avoid. Remember, we are trying to avoid racial discrimination. We are trying not to do what the white men did, like the oppressing us. Discriminating us, uh, you know. Now we, instead of doing away with that, we go and pick up things that we can use against the white man now, and say, "Ah, you see, we we have always been above you." You are our children. We are the ones who, who made it possible for you to exist. Hey, you were you were created by this and that. This is where you come from. But now we are trying to be the ones who are superior. No, yeah. Even the talk we have sometimes, you will be saying, "No, the black man is 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 is, 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 is the best one to bring civilization." To we are the ones who, who were living in Egypt way before the white men. We are the ones who taught the white men everything they need. It's fine. And then what happens after we have had that conversation? Exactly. What happens? Do we go back to now being a, a black race that hates white people? Is is that is that gonna help us? Somehow, it's not going to help. You so now, why, why, why don't we, why don't we have a different um, conversation? Though we, we've had this conversation. We know who's superior, who's not. We know who was created where, and who was not created where. Like these stories, there are so many that. Now, I am thinking about our children. If we dwell on these narratives of how this race was created and how this was... Of course, our children should know what happened to us. That we must not, we must not shy about it. You know, they should know their history. They should know what we went through under the hands of the white man or whatever, that is part of their But we shouldn't now institutionalize our children under this uh, uh, bracket now of, 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 of inferior or who's inferior to who. Uh, I mean, hey, well, that, that, that means, one that means we 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 get into the same mindset that they that they have taught us to be you see we we're not going beyond to the spiritual realm the spirituality doesn't <laughs> distinguish between anybody 
we just we just are and then whatever comes our way we have to be good we have to be yeah. good to whatever comes our way whether it's an animal whether it's a human whatever it is but our goodness first some people even go beyond when, when we have time um sometime in the in the future we we will ask um the empress um maybe to to make a section for us to have this discussion you will see yes. what will happen yes i just want us one day to speak about the race the racial discrimination all these these topics that fall under the differences between blacks and whites i want us to have one day to discuss this and you'll see what will happen you will see yeah, four to we, five hours sitting here talking about can, that, that the only thing i can tell <laughs> is that uh, i can see that you and i have same same mindset pertaining at that subject like you see we don't we don't see that we don't see any any negative emotion toward anybody it doesn't have to be you know, no, anybody no negative emotion at all that means we're free you see we're free once you are attached we, you are living with some negative emotion not only you living with that person inside of you the person that you hate you living with that, that person within you but you're not free because hate prevents you from manifesting your full potential from being at peace from being at ease from enjoying the moment you see hate becomes something like um uh, 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 something that prevents you prevents the energy from flowing within you for preventing a, a, the harmony of god flowing within your being you see so we we know we know exactly how are you going to be talking about we know also also um Kepsu, it is not healthy for someone like me to have such emotion remember i'm 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 an oracle you know i i i have people's lives in my hand you know, I, i i i have a gift that is supposed to save people's life not take people so exactly. if i allow myself if i allow myself to be controlled by emotion what will happen to people who seek help from me you know because now if i'm if i'm controlled by emotions then i will start being judgmental and being judgmental means that i scream people before i help them of which now i wouldn't be using my my gift to the fullest of its potential i will be depriving certain people of the, the help that i might give them i got you. or maybe if save them from themselves because people people are a danger to themselves this hate that they are perpetuating throughout the world you know is this big emotion low vibrate vibration it's it's not healthy for for they are being dangerous to us themselves so they need to be safe but yeah um it, it was it was a great show tonight and yes. i appreciate so much I really that we had talk um may the light of the great ones of creation continue to shine upon us all yes let rama city show us the way and open our hearts and our third eyes to always give with love and with peace yes. 
With that said, I bless everyone. And until we meet again, sister, if you are still around there, I am yes, saying I am. hotel. Hotel, hotel, hotel to everyone and Ashe. <laughs> Happy and tepi. Love and gratitude. Give thanks for another reason. Yes. All right. Okay. Take care. Thank, thank you very much. Give thanks for all the listeners. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me, Sister Nikes. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. No problem. Peace and love. All right.